at the GU ASCO uh, 2012 meeting in San Francisco, there was some uh, preliminary work where Provenge or Sipulusal T was used in the pre radical prostatectomy setting, and then the tissue was studied uh, afterwards to look at uh, potential markers for activity. Uh, one of the challenges that we have when we look at all immunotherapy, and uh, particularly when we look at the Sipulusal T immunotherapy, is that we don't have a specific marker for response. So that while the survival may actually be uh, extended in patients who get Sipulusal T who have uh, asymptomatic or minimally symptomatic history refractory prostate cancer, we really don't have a good marker, for example, PSA doesn't work that well in this particular setting. So what was done as a proof of principle study where uh, Cipulusal T was given to patients before radical prostatectomy, and then studies were done on the uh, prostate tissue to actually show that you could see an immune response leading to the possibility that the, in the future there might be additional clinical trials done with much, much earlier stages of prostate cancer, um, potentially to, uh, to limit early recurrences, and uh, who knows, down the road, maybe a way to uh, uh, more effectively treat localized prostate cancer. But this is very preliminary work. It's only FDA approved right now for uh, advanced prostate cancer, but this is very exciting because if immunotherapies work, they tend to work when there's a minimal amount of disease. So this is a very, uh, very encouraging and very positive news that this uh, study was able to show that there were specific markers of an immune response in the prostate.